So how fast is a pulse cart small chamber big valve head along with a pulse cart cam on a Tillerson 225? So last time around, I took this bike out. It did 4.25, zero to 30, and 66.99 top speed. And the only thing done to the Tilly 225 is a pulse cart cam, but it still has a big chamber head and the small valves. With a 4.46 ratio, 67 on the sprocket and 15 on the clutch. So it's not gonna be super quick from zero to 30. It's kind of geared in the middle. So this time around, to see if we can take advantage of that pulse cart cam, I'm gonna add this small chamber pulse cart head. Yeah, this thing looks pretty sweet. 14cc chamber, 3228 valve, ported, and it has Paul's bronze guides. And it comes with the valve springs, retainers, keepers. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this stuff on the Tilly 225, and we'll see what happens. So Paul sends a note with a head. Basically, you have to lap the valve in. Okay, got the valves down in there. Man, this thing looks sweet. As long as it looks good, it doesn't really matter if it runs good. So now I'll pull this thing apart and throw this head on here. So while I got this apart, I'm going to measure and see how far down this piston is in the hole. So it's about 14 thousandths. So we have the Tilly 212R head, or 225R, 212R head, and then the Paul's cart. So you get the small valve, 2527, and then the 3228. So while I was at it, I went ahead and picked up a stud kit for the head. And then the piston's around 14 thousandths in the hole, so with the 45 thousandths head gasket, we have plenty of room. So I took a Dremel to the inside of this intake manifold and then gasket matched the gasket to the head to get it somewhat close to Paul's port because the port is huge on this thing. So I got it pretty close. Got it all installed. I'm using one-to-one -one rockers right now, and Paul recommends 1.2, 1.3s. So we'll see how it runs with 1.1s first. Let's knock out of zero to 30 and see if I can beat 4.25. Okay, first zero to 30, did zero to 30 and 4.12. So let me try that again, see if I can back that up. Cart, cam, and head. All right, see what it did for the second zero to 30. A 4.18, so 4.12 and a 
eight, so definitely uh, quicker. So let me see if I can do a top speed. See if we can beat 67 miles an hour, or 66.99. what it did a 68.62 so it definitely bumped up the top speed a little bit so the bike was a little bit quicker and a little bit faster so with a 223 you did 4.01030 30 and 71.42 then I saw the tilts in 225 with a pulse cart cam did 4.25 so it lost a couple tenths from 030 and then 66.99 so it lost a few miles per hour. So then I added the pulse cart cam along with the head and it did 4.12 zero to 30. It's a little bit quicker and gained almost a couple miles per hour. So Paul recommends 1.2 or 1.3 ratio rockers with his cam. So I'll do that next time around. That'll probably definitely help it out. Then a 58 millimeter stroker kit will definitely help out the big valve head. So right now it's running on a 24 millimeter carb. So maybe a little bigger carb running on methanol and that'll definitely complete the package. 